what happens in Mississippi reflects the entire country. People have made Mississippi into this symbol of racial backwardness and racism. And here's the purpose it serves. Let me get, let me get theological for a second. Uh, the scape, scapegoat in, in the Old Testament and, and, and in Judaism uh, was, was this sacrificial animal on which the sins of the people were symbolically and ritualistically placed. And you would uh, release that scapegoat into the desert and, and it would symbolize the separation between the people and their sins. And what the nation has done with Mississippi is to make Mississippi the scapegoat for its racism and its white supremacy. And by doing that, they can sort of distance themselves from the racism and white supremacy, which actually belongs to the entire nation. So if Mississippi took the flag down, took the monuments down, it would certainly be communicating something to the rest of the country. A lot of people will say, well, what use is taking down the flag? That's not going to eliminate racism. That's not going to take racism away. That's not what we're arguing. What we're saying is that as long as those symbols stand, you can only make so much racial progress. You can only be so sincere about racial justice. If Mississippi has earned this reputation as sort of the most racially recalcitrant place, then if there's positive change, if there's progress in Mississippi, then that, that's a sign that there can be progress anywhere. It also says how far we're willing to go as a nation. Because as long as we'll tolerate a state that has the Confederate emblem on the flag and, and sort of uh, among a certain population kind of revels in this defiant, this rebel attitude, right? Uh, as long as we tolerate that as a nation, it tells us how far we've really come and, and, and it acts as an anchor, I think, to the progress of the entire country slowing us down and impeding progress.